Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jag and in today's class we're going to continue uh, with our Math 7-8 content and what we're covering today is going to be about discount and sales price. Okay, so uh, let's get started here. So again, we're just going to take some questions from the textbook. Okay, so I'll put example here. Okay, uh, first we're going to calculate each discount price. All right, so this is actually something that's really important. So let's put 20% off, okay, a shirt. And I'm gonna give you uh, the price of the shirt here. It's $39.95. All right. Okay, so just like this. Uh, so again, like I was saying, this is quite important, okay? Because if you're someone who likes to go shopping quite often, okay, I can use uh, these discount prices and actually calculate how much it will cost me if I'm going to buy um, like a pair of jeans or maybe like a top or something like that. Okay, so what we're going to do here is 20 over 100, okay? And I'm just changing this percent into a decimal. And then I'm going to times that by 39.95. Okay, everyone sees that? Okay, so this is just going to be a 0 0.20 times 39.95. Okay, so we're getting 7.99. Okay, so like this. Uh, so don't stop there here, okay? So this is, oh, this says to actually just calculate each discount, okay? There will be questions where we try calculating the actual sale price. Okay, so the discount price here, or uh, the actual discount is going to be 7.99. Uh, so that's just about $8 off, okay? Uh, so let's put a therefore statement. I'm going to put therefore the discount is uh, $7.99, okay? Don't forget to put the dollar sign, okay, in your answer here. All right, so that looks good. Are there any questions there? So all I'm doing is taking the decimal I'm or the uh, percent, change it into a decimal by dividing by 100, and then multiply the uh, price, okay, of the product. Okay, let's try one more question here. So let me just take this off. Okay, uh, so the next one is, let's do 25% off. Okay, and uh, what they give you here is basically a video cassette uh, at 450. Let's put a videotape. Okay, and the videotape costs $4.50, all right? So you might see maybe a discount price like this. We're going to do 25% over 100, okay? And then times it by 450. Does everyone see that? Okay, so we'll do 0 0.25 times 4.50. And again, if you get a decimal, okay, like this, so what we're getting is 1.125. I want to round that to uh, two decimal places. So we're gonna do 1.13. So this is $1.13, okay? And that's the discount. Uh, we are rounding it to two decimal places, so it's just kind of like the dollars and the cents. So let's put a therefore statement. So therefore, I'm gonna put the discount is uh, $1, okay, and 13 cents. Okay, so you can see it's really um, very simple calculations here, okay? I should still know how to do these calculations, even if I want to just use my calculator uh, near the end here, all right? Okay, so with that, let's move on to uh, the sale price and calculating that. So I'm going to take this off, okay? And uh, let's go to the next question here, okay? So it says, uh, let's pick something bigger, so like a computer costs, so let's do $1,269 uh, at, we're doing 5% of, okay? So again, I'm going to uh, put two steps here. So in the first step, what we're doing is we're going to take the 5% divided by 100, or remember this is not 0 0.5, okay? You're moving the decimal place to the left two times. So it's going to be 0 0.05, okay, times 1,269, okay? So we're just going to uh, put this into our calculator, okay? And what we are getting, so let me just put it in here really quick, 69. Okay, so this gives us an exact value. I'm getting $63.45. Okay, when I'm um, putting it in my calculator here, 
Okay, so again, this is actually the discount uh, that you're getting on your calculator. Okay, and I'm just plugging it in. So it's basically $63.45 off, okay, of the regular price of the um, computer in this case. Okay, I do have to remember again, and uh, maybe in next class, we will actually go through uh, tax and how to calculate the tax on the products. So as you know, we do have to pay uh, the HST tax, which is like 13%. Okay, but still having um, a computer off at even 5%, you're getting 5% off. You can see that's a significant amount, okay? So what we're going to do now, 1,269, and I'm going to subtract the 63.45. Okay, does everyone see that? So this is the actual price of the um, computer, and I'm getting $63.45 off. So 1,205 dollars, okay, and 55 cents. So here it's just actually asking you for the sale price, okay? If I were to add in the tax, the tax would basically be on this sale price of the computer, okay? So I have to remember that this won't be the final amount that I'm actually paying. I have to pay the tax on the computer as well, okay? The only difference is when you do the tax, you just have to add the tax in at the end. All right, are there any questions here so far? Good. So with that, let's try one more example here. All right, uh, I'm going to take this off. Okay, I like picking uh, some like big uh, numbers or big products that you're actually going to buy. Uh, so that might actually apply to you in the future, okay? Uh, so let's pick this one. So 449.50, okay? Uh, for a TV, and the TV is 20% off. So I'll just put a comma here, okay? So it's about 20% off. And uh, you might see sale prices like this for TVs, okay? Uh, like um, depending on how many inches it is. Okay, so again, let's do, we're calculating the discount and then we're going to calculate the sale price of the TV, all right? So what we're going to do is 20 over 100. Okay, we're changing again the percentage into a decimal times the price of the TV, so 449.50. So this is 0 0.20 or 0 0.2, okay, times 449.50, okay? So again, we're just gonna put it in our calculator here, 449.50, put the exact price, okay? So you get an exact value of the discount. All right, so the discount in this case is going to be $89.90. Okay, again, I can see this is a significant uh, discount uh, that you're getting on the TV. Uh, you might see a sale like this maybe around Boxing Day, okay, or Black Friday. So you should be looking out for these deals. Okay, and the second step here, what we're going to do is take the price. Let's take the price of the TV, so $449.50. And what I'm going to do is basically just subtract $89.90, okay, which is, again, the discount I'm getting on the TV. So we're going to put this. Uh, into our calculator, so 89.90, and we're getting 300, okay, and uh, $59, okay, and 60 cents. And this is actually uh, the final answer. This is the sale price. And again, on top of the sale price, there will be tax that you have to pay. So let's put a therefore statement. So therefore, okay, I'm gonna put the sale price and make your therefore statements uh, very um, specific, okay? That's what the teacher is looking for. So I'm going to put of the TV. Okay, is $359. Okay, and uh, 60 cents. Does everyone see that and how to do it? Okay, uh, good. That looks good. So let's look at this one question. Okay, this question looks like kind of like a comparison, but it's more of an application question. Okay, so let's try it. And again, the teacher will put, okay, quite a few application questions uh, on your test or quiz as well, as it is part of the curriculum. Okay, so I'm going to read the question out loud. It says, Jane says, huh, that a $174.99 personal CD player at 40% off is cheaper than $149.99 personal CD player that is 25% off. And uh, is Jane correct? Okay, so what we're going to do 
Okay, is let's write it down here. Okay, so I have one hundred seventy four ninety nine. Let's put a CD player. Okay, and uh, so the first time, okay, is going to be this is forty percent off. And this is actually a really good question, okay? Because sometimes you do see certain products and you have a certain percentage off at different stores. Okay, so I should be um, kind of comparison shopping here and uh, see which one would be cheaper for me, okay? And then the second one is, um, so I'm just gonna put it like uh, right here, we have some space. Okay, so this time, this is uh, $149.99. <clears throat> and this is the same CD player. Okay, and it's going to be 25% off, okay? So I can see in the first case here, the 40% is a, a really significant uh, percentage off here. So we're going to do 40 over 100 times 174, 99, okay? I can actually uh, directly put this, okay, in my calculator. You don't need to show uh, an extra step here, all right? And we are getting, so I'm going to actually round that. So what we're getting is 69.996. Okay, and we're just going to round that to um, $70 off. Okay. And uh, let's do actually the sale price as well, because this is just the percentage off. Okay, so maybe let's just write it right here. So I'm going to do 174.99 minus, okay, the $70. And I do want to show uh, this last uh, step here, okay? Uh, because I want to know what the exact sale price is uh, for my CD player or for the CD player I'm looking for. So this is $104.99, okay? I can see this is quite, um, I can compare this, okay? this uh, The second case, the CD player is $149.99, okay? But it's only 25% off, okay? So let's try that. So 25 over 100 times $149. 99 okay uh, so this is going to be 0 0.25 times 149.99 and let's round this so you see in the second case I'm only have getting 37 dollars and uh, 50 cents off okay so this is what I'm rounding into and then let's try the subtraction for this as well so 149.99 minus 37.50 Okay, um, can everyone see that? So let me write it at the top here, okay? And so uh, let's subtract it. Minus 37.50, okay? And this is $112.49. Okay, so let me write it at the top here. Okay, so uh, just like this. So I hope everyone can see that, okay? Uh, so basically, I can see that what she's saying here is that the first option is going to be cheaper, okay, than the second option. And I know that's the case here because uh, 40% is a very significant discount here on a CD player, okay? And the question is asking, is Jane correct? So your answer should be, yes, Jane is correct in this case. Okay, so the CD player that is $174.99 at 40% off, it is actually cheaper, okay? Uh, so let's put yes, okay? And Jane is correct. Okay, when you're writing uh, your concluding sentence, make sure, again, you're just kind of putting uh, an explanation because this is an application question. It can also be considered somewhat of a communication question, all right? Okay, so uh, that looks good. And uh, again, that does bring this video uh, to an end. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see everyone in the next video. Thanks. Bye.